Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our part number 38. Inside this video, we are going to continue all about Query Builder and inside this section, we will discuss about insert and update methods. In the last three videos of Query Builder, we had seen all about select statements as well as using joins. Now this time, we are going to start with insert and update methods. So let's say that right now we have a database and inside this database we have some tables. So inside these tables, let's say that we are going to insert some data inside this students table. So to insert any new row inside this students table, we need few data something like name, email and mobile number because for these columns like created at and updated at we have a default value so let's say that we are going to use the query builder method to insert some data inside this students table so how can we do back to editor let's say that we are inside this student controller and inside this student controller we are going to create a insert method so let's say insert student now inside this and from the previous videos as we know that to use our db query builder method first we need, we need to load our db class after loading this db class we need to call our table method and we need to pass the table name so let's say db here inside this table method we need to pass the table name in which we are going to perform our operation now next in the last videos we had seen all about join where and select methods so now this time to insert any data we have our insert method so this is insert method now inside this insert method simply we need to define an array this array indicates all about the data what we are going to insert so here we have created an array let's say that we need to pass our name so name equals to if I write let's say test next we need to pass the next column we have something called email and if I pass the value let's say test at test.com next we have the column as mobile now inside this mobile number I am passing the dummy value so here as we can see that we are inserting inside a students table and these are dummy datas so now if we save all these changes let's write a static message data has been inserted or saved back to web.php to create a route so let's route here we are going to use the get method for the get request type let's save hyphen student or simply save student and inside this we are calling our student controller it's a class and inside this we have a method with the name called insert student so if I copy the method name and pasting it here now if we save all these two files copy the route name back to browser and open here data has been saved as we can see inside this message now back to table click on browse and if I reload so as we can see that this is the data what we have inserted inside this students table so here we have the name equal to test and email equals to test at test.com also one more thing that after insertion as we can see that this record we have created and it equals to which is auto incremented equals to 501 so what we want if let's say if we insert any new row inside this students table we want to get the id what we have inserted so for that if i back to editor back to controller let's say that this is our new data what we are going to create so sample sample at test.com and here inside this mobile number let's put one more dummy number so after insertion we need the insert id so here we have called insert 
get id now we are going to store the value inside this id column so we can say it as inserted id now let's say that data has been saved with id equals to inserted id now if you save all these changes back to browser reload this page so data has been saved equals to 502 so this is the last row what we have inserted back to table reload this page and here inside this table as we can see that our latest record has been inserted now inside this table with id equals to 502 this is all about insertion of single row let's say that in some cases if we are interested to insert in bulk amount let's say five thousands of rows inside this students table also we have the option to insert data in bulk format what is the format simply get rid of all these things or let's say if i make comment of this line here we need to write db table all about we have students this is our table name next we have our insert method and inside this insert method as we know that we need to pass an array that array contains the data set values so if we want to insert more number of rows so this is first row second row third row and so on so in each array we need to pass our column name and its values in key value pairs so let's say a if we write here let's say email equals to a dot com mobile number something we have the dummy value actually we need to write first the column name so here let's say mobile next if i copy the same value paste inside this second row third row let's change this value to some new dummy number this is b now this time we are going to insert three different rows now if i get rid of this insert id because this time we are going to insert data in bulk format so if we save all these changes back to browser reload this page data has been saved if i back to table click on browse now as we can see that inside this table and here we are getting only a single row so why we are getting a single row because we have inserted two more datas with name equals to b and c so back to editor let's check that and the mistake is that because we are passing multiple arrays means bulk insert so to do we need to create a parent array and inside this we need to put our child arrays so this is our mistake now if we save back to browser reload this page data has been saved go and reload this page now inside this table as we can see that we have a b and c the mistake was that actually to insert data in bulk format bulk data insertion we need to pass a parent array so this is all about guys about insert insert get id method as well as bulk insert module let's say that we are going to update some data what we are trying to do if i back to our phmi admin database so for this record let's say we have 505 id so if we want to update the name value let's say email value or any data on the behalf of this 505 id how can we update that so to update using query builder we have a update method so by using update method we can easily update any of the data in any specific table so back to editor let's say that if i make comment of this these lines what we had seen inside insert method so let's say db table 
we need to pass the table name we are going to update with the help of an ID so where ID equals to if I type 505 this is our ID and we want to change the name and let's say email value so back to editor now in the next we are going to use the update method making an array and inside this array we need to pass our key value pairs key indicates the column name so let's say that updated value inside email updated at the rate value.com now if you save let's write a static message so data has been updated so if we save back to browser reload this page so data has been updated back to table reload this page now as we can see that on the behalf of this id equals to 505 we have updated the name value and email value so this is all about using update method so in the next video we will see some more concept on update method as well as we'll continue all about delete method how can we find the documentation of query builder in laravel website so if we back to the laravel.com its official website click on documentation and inside this documentation under database we should see a section of query builder so inside this database we have a section of called query builder and inside this query builder these all are well documented concept of query builder so in the next video we will discuss some more concept about update method as well as delete method so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.